Hey guys, it's Ed here from Ever Faster Racing and welcome back to another racing video on F1 2019. Today we're going to be doing another episode of beating It's Your Boy Marlon's Lap Time at Monaco. Uh, this is episode 6 now. Uh, quite a short way from when we did it last time, only a few days actually, because uh, he, he has beaten our lap time quite quickly uh, with a 1 minute 9.903, so that beats me by uh, about two hundredths of a second. Uh, don't go off what his video said, he said he beat me by two tenths, that is not two tenths. Uh, so yeah, uh, we'll be trying to beat that lap time today in our trusty Mercedes W10 that we've been using, it's been very good to me for the past couple of episodes so we'll continue using that and uh, yeah uh, going off what Martin's video said I really do want to beat him I am gonna beat him I know I'm quicker um, if I can just find the perfect lap in this car I can definitely beat him so we're gonna try and do that today try and beat him get that perfect lap in so uh, yeah uh, that's been enough talking from me let's get into the lap so here we are on the streets of Monaco, ready to start the lap. DRS open onto the main straight. The only straight with DRS, so this one is the important one. Coming into turn one, a very good line through there. You need to get as much inside as possible so you can get a good exit off the corner. Coming up to uh, Beau Rivage. And into Massenet, a very uh, long sweeping left-hander. And then immediate right into the casino section, getting as tight to that inside wall as possible. Uh, coming back to the down to the left for Mirabeau. Uh, we're up on our delta, which is very good. We'll touch the wall then into the hairpin, uh, very slow through here, but uh, we're quite quick relatively through there. Uh, and then coming back to the two uh, right-handers at Portier, uh, very good through there as well, getting as close to that exit uh, curb as possible. Uh, coming through the tunnel, need a good line through there just to get as much speed out of there as possible. And into the Nervo Chicane, I take the bumps a little bit less violent than I have been doing, that gains me quite a load of time. Uh, so obviously the bumps are unsettling my car on the last couple of videos. Uh, Tapak was good and then into the swimming pool section, uh, taking a good line through there, avoiding that bump on the left, that's just going to lose you time if you hit that, probably sending you into the wall as well. Being a tiny bit conservative on the exit of Raskas, didn't want to spin up my tyres and yet spin around, and that is the end of the lap. Woohoo, yes, yes, that's a good lap, that is a good lap, 1 minute 9.7. Four, four. That beats him by un just under two, two tenths. That is a good gap. I was waiting for that. As soon as I started that lap, I knew that was going to be my lap. So, uh, as we make our way round to the Noval Chicane, for the, uh, obviously we need to do some donuts to celebrate this incredible achievement. And yeah, I beat you, Martin. So, you better, you better come back at me. Let's see, let's see what that... F1 2016 Mercedes has actually got against this. Bear in mind that this has become one of the best cars I've ever used, especially with this track, with this setup as well, which I'm not going to give you, obviously. So, yeah, and... Oh, I've completely gone off track there. So, uh, as such, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, hit that like button, and also subscribe if you're new to the channel, and also comment down below what video you'd like to see next. So that's been enough from me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.